Hello everyone, I am Hằng. In this video, I keep continuing with the first law of thermodynamics. Previous video, I stopped right uh, here, the isothermal process of an ideal gas. In this video, I keep continuing with the, the left processes. So we start with the isobaric process. Remember, uh, we in the first law of thermodynamics, for each process, we try to calculate three things. The first one is the change of internal energy. The second one is the work. And based on the first law, we will calculate the heat. Following that, you try to remember the equation of the process, okay? For example, in this case, we consider isobaric process. That means uh, pressure is constant. Uh, remember that we have uh, two formulas from ideal gas. This equation for ideal gas and the internal energy uh, from ideal gas. We have uh, two formulas here. Now, if pressure is a constant, that means uh, here P here is a constant. So from here V and T uh, change with respect to time. So from here you have uh, this equation. That means uh, NRT over V is a constant in another word in another way i can write v over t is a constant this one is the equation of the uh, isobaric process so what does this mean uh, this equation means that v1 over t1 t1 equal v2 over t2 usually the exercise will give you three information and ask you the the left one for example from exercise you will have a v1 t1 v2 and the question asks you t2 for example now back to the main purpose of uh, first law uh, in each process you try to calculate the change of internal energy the heat and the work so in this case the change of internal energy here so you will write temperature change with respect to time therefore the change of internal energy is the change of temperature so here you write delta t and that's all next how to calculate the work remember the formula of the work done on the system is like this from here because the p is a constant so you can you can move p out from the sign of integration so inside you just have a dv the integration of dv is the v and when you sub the the initial v and the, uh, the final v and the initial v so you have a delta v the change of volume okay uh, so um, what do you see from here look if p is a constant so here from this formula i can if you don't want if you don't have information to apply this formula so you have another formula is like this how do we change from this formula to this formula you do like this you, you know that p is a constant because this one is isobaric process so if p is a constant and here you have a delta v that means you change the vol volume so that in the other side of the equation the temperature also change with respect to the volume if you have it here you have an initial volume so here you have an initial temperature and then you have a final volume so here you have a final temperature you get final volume minus the initial volume so you have the change of volume so corresponds to that you have to get the final temperature minus the initial temperature you have a change of temperature like this okay so if uh, from given you don't have uh, uh, the information for P and, and delta V to calculate the work so you change to this formula okay from this formula you also can calculate the work next you have a change of internal energy here delta T here and you have the work is right here I use this formula so now how to calculate the heat you put you put the change of internal energy here and you put the work here and then from here you get the heat based on this formula okay so you put delta u is uh, i over 2 and r delta t here and the chain of uh, the the heat the work done on the system uh, like this here so you see you have uh, n r delta t uh, and here you have uh, n r delta t so you get n r delta t out so inside you have uh, this i 
plus 2 over 2. And now, uh, to shorten, I will denote i plus 2 over 2 times 2r is cpm. So I rewrite formula like this. Hit equal n cpm here, delta t. Where cpm, we call it the molar specific heat at constant pressure. So, uh, conclusion for this slide, the, I calculate the change of internal energy like this, always like this. Next, the work is like this or like this. Based on the given, you can apply this one or this one, okay? And the heat is like this, where CPM is the molar specific heat at constant pressure, like this. Is calculate. You can calculate uh, CP based on the uh, I here degree of freedom. You study it when you study the lecture four when we talk about the idea gas. So you have a degree of freedom, and here you have a R here is a constant. That is the air constant. Okay. Now we move to the next process, the isovolumetric process. Uh, Keep in mind, I also remind two formulas, the equation for ideal gas, the formula for internal energy from lecture 4 I include here because we always use it, we always use it. Next, now isovolumetric process, that means volume is a constant. If, take a look on this one, if volume is a constant, that means P and T change with respect to time. So I have the equation uh, T over P or P over T is a constant. Not the, it's a constant, okay? It's a constant. So uh, what does it mean? Uh, this mean this one is the equation for these processes. Uh, and then if from given, you have uh, two processes. Uh, you have uh, the process goes from um, one to two, follow isovolumetric process. So what does it mean? You have a P1 over T1 equal P2 over T2, okay? So back to the main purpose. We, uh, for uh, first law of thermodynamics, so we focus on three quantities, the change of internal energy, the heat, and the work. So here, if you want to calculate the change of internal energy, you take a look on this formula. And R here, constant, I here is uh, the free uh, degree of freedom. It depends on the type of the gas. Just the T here is, uh, can be changed with, with respect to time. So if the change of internal energy, I write here delta U, so here I have to write delta T. So that means I have information for delta U. Next, I have to calculate the work. How do I calculate the work? I apply this formula. So in this case, the volume is constant, so therefore the work is a constant, okay? So if the work is constant, that means the heat equal the change of internal energy and equal this one, uh, equal this one. Huh, huh. Next, F, uh, to shorten, I will denote I over 2 times 2R is CV. I over 2 times 2R is CV. And CV, we call it the molar specific heat at constant volume. So I rewrite this one. Uh -huh. So conclusion for this slide is uh, as a volumetric process, that means volume is a constant. So the equation is P over T is a constant. Next, uh, we can calculate three important quantities of uh, the first law is the change of internal energy. It's like this. You write delta T here, so you have a delta U. And the work in this case is a zero. So because the work is zero, so the, therefore the heat equal the change of internal energy. And remember, uh, the molar specific heat, you can calculate based on the degree of freedom and the air constant, like this. Okay, next. Next, I have... Um, uh, uh, a diabetic process, but it's uh, quite long, so I will stop the video here uh, and start a new video for that process. Thank you for listening.